Okay, Connor. It's me, Doo Doo, the doer of sports, the Duke of Entertainment, sports fans, sports fans. Let's talk sports. There's something um, wrong with your situation of what you're saying that the Dallas Cowboys are bad and and you know um we're terrible, horrible, no good. We're just not a good team. This whole division, think about it, is not good. This if if you're first place. Well, what do you have to, you know, like, say, I'm first place? Who cares? Think about it. New York sucks. The, the team that is the president's, uh, or if you want to call them the football team, whatever, and your team's not any better. So... I don't know why you're you're getting your party, you you you're getting your your streamers out. You're saying playoff time. How, how far can I ask you? How far are you gonna go in the playoffs? Seriously, if you make it to the playoffs, it's your first place. If you have maybe eight and eight, or even some shred of a good, you know win record what is there to brag about I don't think any of this whole division has anything to brag about but Dallas Cowboy fans I love my Dallas Cowboys my Dallas Cowboys are the Cowboys and I'll say it that was a terrible game that game was hard to watch but I'm gonna watch every game I'm not gonna say I'm out of here see you later I'm not gonna zip my mouth I think you should be quiet, Mr. Cool Cat Connor. Because you act like this game is in the bag. Cool Cat Connor, this game is not in the bag. This game is not just... Uh, uh, you know, we're, uh, we're going to win. No, no, I'm sorry, Cool Cat Connor. That's not how it works. You should look at yourself in the mirror, you know. Just please look at yourself in the mirror. Well, what what do you see? A team that is the same team that we are. A team that sucks. Just look as bad as the Dallas Cowboys suck. And, you know, it's not your fault. So, please, look in the mirror. Look in the mirror, brother. And understand, this is not just, okay, we win. With easy win. Easy win. Dallas Cowboys win, you know. We are going to just march it into the, the Philadelphia Stadium. And we are going to win. And we are the champions and everything. How? How? How, how do you even see that coming? Because this game could be a total just, you know, Let's take the Titanic and the Longhorns versus the Oklahoma Sears. Two tiny titan, Titanics singing. Which one's going to sing first? Well, at the end, the Texas Hook'em Horns lost. And my wife's Oklahoma Sooners won. I don't want to talk about that, but that's another discussion of college football. So this is the same scenario for the Dallas Cowboys versus the Philadelphia Eagles. And listen, we've had a lot of success. And we're, we don't need to go over the great success of the Dallas Cowboys. We all know that we're America's team. And we are great. We are awesome. We're incredible. We are one of those teams that is just too great. And the frustrations will go away. I, I have a few observations of why it's going like this. And I'm not sure if it's why, why, why is it gone so bad for the Dallas Cowboys? And you could put Dak in there. You could put um, maybe not having a preseason, not having, you know, a normal year. But don't count your kitchen. Your, don't count your chickens before they hatch. Cool Cat Connor. This game is not yours. Your Titanic might sink before our Titanic. Think about it. I'm the sports degenerate. Do the sports. Sp
towards it. Cool cat, Connor. Awesome. Radical. Cowabunga. Thank you.